Welcome to The Tech Show. I'm Stacey Rush, and this week we're looking at all the ways tech helps us work smarter and not harder. And we have the founder of a coding program just for girls. All that and more is coming up on The Tech Show. Now it's time for the latest. In the weeks following the devastation of Hurricane Maria, much of Puerto Rico's outdated power grid is still down. But Tesla's Elon Musk is stepping in to help. He has a team installing hundreds of Tesla's Powerwall batteries, which are standalone units that capture and store solar energy. Now, looking at the massive rebuilding ahead, Puerto Rico's Governor Ricardo Roselli has suggested Puerto Rico can become a flagship island for the technology and wants to integrate Powerwall into the reconstruction of the grid. Tesla already has the island of Tau in American Samoa getting 100% of its power from the batteries, making it completely reliable on renewable energy. Although Tau is just 17 square miles, Musk is confident he can scale up for Puerto Rico's 3,000 plus square miles. Toy giant Mattel has decided to ditch its new smart home device, the Aristotle, following criticism by privacy advocates. The device is connected and responsive like an Amazon Echo, but designed to entertain and soothe toddlers, playing lullabies on demand and functioning as a baby monitor. Senators Edward Markey and Joe Barton wrote Mattel a letter asking how the company would handle data collected by the device, stating, Aristotle appears capable of transmitting sensitive information about a child's development back to Mattel, and adding, never before has a device had the ability to so intimately look into the life of a child. Creepy stuff. Mattel told the Washington Post that Aristotle now doesn't fully align with Mattel's new technology strategy. The ill-fated Aristotle is not the only recent gadget that wants to replace some of the tasks normally done by parents. Smart onesies can text your child's temperature, and Ford has made a crib that replicates a ride in the car. But do you think parents are clamoring for these devices? Or are the companies just trying to convince us we need them? Well, I think it's the bigger part is that companies will always look for a marketing segment to attack. And uh, parents, especially if you say that uh, the child will benefit from something by being smarter, learning to read at age four months and so forth, a parent usually will want to jump on that, whether or not it's fairly credible. So I think it's largely companies trying to get something out there, to be honest. I think sometimes companies convince consumers that they need stuff that they don't really need. I've seen on often and more often parents relying on these more than watching their children themselves. That's my honest assessment. I think some of these devices can relax new parents who don't feel they have enough experience to identify certain issues, but I don't think there's any substitute for just holding and playing with your baby. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Over 70 years of experience in heart and aviation, the members of the Association of Flight Attendants know the realities of the aircraft cabin better than anyone. We don't just serve drinks, we save lives. We don't just negotiate contracts, we move major policy issues like the smoking ban, no knives on planes, clean water and safe food on board. The air we breathe matters and we stop the spraying of poisonous pesticides. The Association of Flight Attendants, stronger together, better together. Are you having a harder time leaving the office at the office? According to the American Psychological Association, turning off the smartphone and leaving work behind during weekends and vacations is a rare thing for most working Americans. So this week on AppTech, we have some apps to help you strike a balance. First, try Boomerang. 
Boomerang is a plugin for Gmail, Outlook, and Android that lets you temporarily dismiss messages from your inbox to reappear in a few hours or days when you're better able to deal with them. You can also pause your inbox entirely to suspend the torrent of interruptions while you're busy and schedule outgoing messages to be sent at specific times. You get 10 free uses a month. After that, monthly subscriptions start at $5. Doodle is a useful website and mobile app that takes the pain out of scheduling meetings and events. The idea couldn't be simpler. You set up a list of possible dates and times, and then your invitees drop by the Doodle website and tick the options that work for them. You'll quickly be able to see at a glance when everyone is available, and since recipients don't need to create their own Doodle accounts, it's friction-free. For even easier scheduling, you can connect it to your Google or Outlook calendar. And if you've ever wondered where your days go, Rescue Time may be an eye-opener. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and Linux, it runs in the background and tracks the applications and websites you use. You can then generate reports to discover where your time is going and set productivity goals, such as spending less than an hour a day on social media websites. For those of us with Apple Watches, we've come to rely on them almost as substitutes for our phones. They make our lives so much easier. And now it's time to expand your collection with Spidel's new Twistoflex bands for the Apple Watch. It's got a large expansion range to fit most wrist sizes, so it makes it a great gift. It's all stainless steel construction with a brushed satin finish. This means it's super strong and will resist water and sweat. So as beautiful as this will look at work, you don't have to take it off or change the band when you're at the gym. This band will stay with you the whole day. It's compatible with both the Series 1 and Series 2 Apple Watches and available for both the 42 and 38 millimeter sizes. Since 1904, vintage American brand Spidel has been renowned for its innovative designs, operational excellence, and passion for customer service. And these wristbands will take great care of your Apple Watch. So if you want to get a jump on your holiday gift list, head over to thetechshow.tv and enter to win your own Spidel Twistaflex Apple Watch Band. Don't go away, The Tech Show will be right back. Welcome back to The Tech Show. Lots of tech companies are embracing the new office space with common areas, ping pong tables, flex time, recess, well, maybe not recess, but for those of us stuck in a traditional office environment, the Weekly Four has a few hacks they say will make the workday a little easier. This is Life Hacks, Do or Dump. When you work in an office setting, you can quickly get set in your day-to-day -day routine. But what if we told you we had some easy and creative tips and tricks to make your day and work life a little easier? On today's Weekly Four, we're going to share with you four eye-opening work hacks. Number one, organize those wires. You probably have a computer and other electronic devices at work with a bunch of cables and cords. Before you know it, everything gets tangled, disorganized, and looking like, well, this. We suggest you use binder clips. Clip to your desk to organize wires and cords at your desk. They'll stay in place, and you and your workspace will be organized. Number two, keep your work ID handy. If you need a badge or an ID to enter your job, then you probably don't want to forget it at home. Clips are useful, but you still run the risk of forgetting it. Our work hack, put your ID in your phone case. That way it's always handy, because we know you're not going anywhere without your phone. Then you can come and go, just like that. Number three, stay clean and lint free. Got a last minute meeting and realize that you've got some lint on your suit? You should keep a lint roller in your desk. But if you don't, just use some tape. That's right, wrap some tape around your four fingers with the sticky side out, and instantly you have a do-it-yourself lint remover. You can feel free to give yourself a pat on the back. And finally, number four, rest your eyes. Do you stare at a screen all day? Then you know it can be a serious strain on your eyes, causing headaches, fatigue, and anxiety. Get in the habit of relaxing your eyes. It's easy to remember the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, stop what you're doing and focus on something 20 feet away. Do this for 20 seconds. This will give your eyes a much needed break. 
and relax those eye muscles. And that's your weekly four. We hope you can make the most of these work hacks. Do you know any workplace hacks and tricks? Feel free to tell us or link us to any other hacks that you come across in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time right here on the Weekly Four. So there were a few good tips there, but stopping what you're doing every 20 minutes is a bit unrealistic, especially if you're stepping away from the desk and checking your phone the whole time. It's important for kids to get a head start on the skills that will help them open their minds in school and be successful in the future. Today we have Ingrid Sandin, co-owner of Bully and Girl, which teaches coding to young girls. Hello, Ingrid. Hi. So tell me about yourself. What led you to create Bully and Girl? My partner created Bully and Girl about three years ago, and I joined the company soon after after my daughter took a class with the, with the organization and loved it, and I knew right away that it was a great, great vision for girls her age. And so I joined the company, and now we've expanded quite a lot. What's the benefit for girls to start coding so young? Well, when you can introduce girls to something when they're in third grade, which is what we do, it gives them a taste of what's available to them and maybe gets them interested in something that they wouldn't have had a chance to experience before. And so we feel like if we can get them young and keep them interested through middle school, that will keep them interested through high school and possibly into college. But getting them young is very important. What kinds of projects do they create at camp? Um, it's really actually very exciting. They start very basic with um, easy coding with Scratch, which is a programming language and they keep progressing to a point where they can make their own video games, their own versions of Frogger and Pac-Man, um, all the way up to doing a Moonlander project where they can build their own game controller. It's wow. really, really fun for them. It sounds like it. So what other programs do you have? We have our summer camps, as you mentioned, which are about a week long throughout um, the DC area. Okay. We also do after school programs and clubs, which are very popular for middle school aged girls. And we also do one day coding events with different partners in the area as well. Now, this sounds so interesting. What about if you are an adult, but young at heart? Would you be able to try this? Absolutely, our Boolean box says ages eight to 88. <laughs> um, and so we feel like um, adults, parents of, of kids could definitely get involved, probably learn right along with their children um, or learn from their children. Um, but everything is very accessible on our website, and so we hope that parents will embrace this chance to do something interesting with their kids and learn something new. So what's in the box? Well, this is our Boolean box, and this is um, the build-it-yourself computer kit that we developed based on parents' and students' interests in our classes. Mm -hmm. And so um, everything that comes in this box equips kids to code at home, which is very exciting. This is the computer, which is tiny, and no one believes that this is the computer, but it's Raspberry Pi based. It comes with an HDMI cord that plugs into your TV at home and has all kinds of other little elements that kids can use to create their own projects and keep coding once they go home. Once they complete the program, where can they continue to learn code? We actually have a, an ongoing development of curriculum for our website. So, if, um, if girls think that they're advancing and want to try harder things, we will have that for them. And if they want to develop their own programs, that's what is very exciting because they can get creative, animate, build their own um, projects. It's very cool. And then they can upload them to our website and share them with other kids. All right, well, where can people find out more? We would love for people to visit our site, bullyandgirl.org, and they can also buy our Boolean box, which is a build-it-yourself computer kit on Amazon Prime. Well, thank you for being here, Ingrid. Thank you so much. Coming up, Greg Kaplan from Remote Here tells us why sometimes the best way to be productive at the office is to stay away from the office. The Tech Show will be right back with more. Attention, 
Have you had hernia surgery with mesh reinforcement? These mesh devices may cause serious complications which can require additional surgery to repair the mesh device. If you or a loved one have undergone revision surgery or endured any of these serious complications, you may be eligible to receive a cash award and compensation for your medical expenses and pain and suffering. Call the Rely On Group today to be connected to an attorney for a free consultation. Call 800-641-9288. That's 800-641-9288. Instead of searching for hours and spending too much, Trivago makes it easy to find the ideal hotel for the best price. Just go to Trivago.com, type in where you want to go, and with two clicks, select your check-in, your check-out dates, and search. You can then easily compare all the hotels that meet your search criteria and find the room that is ideal for you. That's how you can be sure that you'll find the ideal hotel at the best price with Trivago.com. Hotel Trivago. Do you have osteoarthritis in one or both knees? If you have osteoarthritis in one or both knees, are you on Medicare, Obamacare, or other health insurance? If you answered yes, you may be eligible for a prescription strength solution for osteoarthritis of the knees. Covered by Medicare at little to absolutely no cost to you. Our experienced staff will work with your doctor and handle all of your Medicare or insurance paperwork. Find out for free by calling the Back and Knee Pain Center. Call 1-800-805-1365. Non-attorney spokesperson. Attention. Have you been seriously injured or has a loved one been killed in a motor vehicle accident? Call 800-238-0788. You may be entitled to compensation. Personal injuries can happen at any point in your lifetime. And in a few seconds, you or a loved one may suffer debilitating injuries that could change your life forever. Call 800-238-0788. For a free consultation, you may be entitled to compensation. Same hotel, same price? No. no! There's a bunch of different prices out there all over the internet. Trivago instantly compares them to find your ideal hotel for the best price. Hotel Trivago. Welcome back to The Tech Show. Technology has done a lot to unchain us from the office and let us do a lot of our work from other places. But have you considered working from another city or country? Here with us today is Greg Kaplan, CEO of Remote Year, which helps people satisfy their wanderlust without sacrificing their careers. Thanks for being here, Greg. Thank you, Stacey. Now, what made you start Remote Year? So I was living and working in Chicago and I just had a, a thirst for adventure. Okay. So I asked my friends, do you guys want to line up remote work and go travel? And all of them said no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I put up a website to see if I could find people to, to travel with. And the first day, over a thousand people signed up. Wow. And then we started to get picked up in the press and over 50,000 people signed up. That's when we turned this idea into an organization. Okay. And how does it work? So we provide a platform for professionals who want to travel around the world with a globally diverse community. Um, included in the price of the cost of the program. Um, people get private room accommodations throughout the world, uh, shared workspace, events and activities throughout each month, and as a community they travel to 12 places for one month each throughout wow, the year. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Now, who's a candidate for uh, Remote Year? We have a really diverse group of people from over 40 different countries, 22 to 65 years old, um, all different, different jobs, uh, developers, designers, writers, lawyers, and our biggest category is actually marketing. Um, but we've seen that most people work full-time for one company throughout the entire year, and most stay with the current company that they're at to come on the program. Um, we've worked with lots of them to work on how the, to, to make their role available, because you've seen lots and lots of roles now can be done from anywhere. And we believe people are most productive when they're inspired by their surroundings. And what kind of technology do you rely on uh, to make this work? Yeah, technology is really changing. Um, communications going digital and productivity is moving to the cloud. So, you know, there's Zoom conferencing, so you could video chat with people all over the world. Um, Cloud-based productivity like Google Suite. Um, all these new tools and technologies are really enabling great work to be done from anywhere. And also culturally, things are changing. You know, people want to be flexible in the workplace. They want to work where they want, when they want, and on things they find inspiring. And so, in order to attract, retain, and engage the very best people, companies are really embracing flexibility, which many people value over even compensation in a lot of cases. And how do you plan the year's destinations? 
Yeah, so originally my co-founder and I went to all the different places, checked them out, make sure they were good. But now we have a full team in place that goes, vets different places all over the world, such as Chiang Mai, Thailand, and oh, Split, nice. Croatia. It's beautiful, yeah. <laughs> um, and we actually have full-time team on the ground in every city that we operate throughout the year to make sure that while people are there, they have a really great experience. How do you think Remote Year benefits both the employee and employer? Yeah, this is not just for employees. Employers are seeing tons of benefits of having uh, Remote Year as an offering for their people. Um, number one, they think it's really great for recruiting, but also retention, recognition of their best people. And when they come back, um, they've really learned and developed as, as people in their organization. Um, a global perspective, comfort with change in decision making, um, a diverse understanding and global perspective um, is really, really beneficial thing for a lot of these employers. And that's why we're starting to see more and more of them actually pay for remote year um, for their employees to come on because they find it so valuable. Um, we have partnerships with over 100,000 person companies, Unilever and NTT Data and many others. So it's really exciting to see that trend start to happen. It sounds exciting. And how do you plan the year's destinations? Uh, originally, my co-founder and I went to all the different spots to make sure they were fantastic. But now we actually have a full-time team who vets and scouts different locations, such as Chiang Mai, Thailand, and Split in Croatia, to find the best places for our people to go and spend a month at a time with their community. Um, and we also have a full-time team on the ground who makes sure that people have an amazing experience while they're there and do things that are just off the beaten path, unique, interesting, to have an incredible experience everywhere they are. How can someone apply? You could go to remoteyear.com, check it out. We have the application on the page, um, remoteyear.com. All right. Thanks, Greg. Thank you so much. Coming up, the next gadget to take my money. The Tech Show will be right back. How's it going guys? I am Matthias and a couple days ago I pulled a prank on one of my best friends with my brother with Amazon Echo. Now I was in the other room using this little mic to get Alexa to say stuff and right when Mike started really freaking out I was like, oh man, I gotta get this on footage. And here's that footage. What just happened? Alexa just listened to our entire conversation, knew who I was by my voice, and then we thought computer. she wasn't listening to us anymore. Joey started like saying, oh man, she's so creepy, and then she's like, I'm not creepy, Michael Badal. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. How did it know it was me? <laughs> well, Alexa kind of links up. It, it knows, like, it has Bluetooth. When did we ever tell it I was me? <laughs> I don't remember, dude. I, I, maybe it went into the context of my phone. Oh my, but how does it know my voice? There's no way. <laughs> Alexa, how do you know who I am? I know who you are. You on the internet, Michael the doll. <laughs> no Dude, way. No. I am so tweeting about this. <laughs> so weird. Please do not tweet about this. This is a beta feature. <laughs> There's no way this thing knows so much about me. You, you have to be like, you, you've got to be typing something for I'm kind of scared right now. <laughs> Have you seen me touch anything? It, are you? Simon <laughs> says, Michael Badal, you are gullible. <laughs> That's to you, camera. <laughs> it's time for Take My Money, where this week we look at Effie, your new assistant who always has your shirt ready for that big meeting. Effie is a new device that dries and irons your clothes in minutes. Just hang up your clothes, press start, and let it work its magic. It dries and irons your clothes using a pressing system leaving them creaseless and ready to wear. Who wouldn't love to throw their iron away and still have their creases sharp? Effie, go ahead and take my money. Thank you for joining us this week. Follow us at The Tech Show TV and join the conversation. Tech you later.